Hello again everyone, it's Vince Fowler from TradingWinds.com and this is our update for December 26th, 2017. Let's take a quick look at today's markets. Well, traditionally, the last week of the year for trading anyway is usually very, very quiet. Um, and this year is no different. Today, very, very light volume. I mean very light volume as you can see here on the dow extremely light the dow closed slightly lower down almost eight points while the s p 500 was down about three points again extremely light volume um <clears throat> the nasdaq was down a slightly more down almost 24 points we'll get to that in just a moment but once again very low volume and the russell managed that to actually gain about a point and a half today um again the light volume really <laughs> What you should really do is kind of ignore these days uh, of this week, really. Not a whole lot going on. There are pockets here and there that you need to pay attention to, but overall, these these uh, days are really insignificant. Now, one, one thing to note that wasn't in, insignificant was crude oil. Crude oil moved and finally hit that target that we've been waiting for, $60.00. They're back up there today on news of an explosion on a Libyan crude pipeline. Um, highest point um, uh, that we've seen here since June of 2015 and uh, quite the move. Now, if you look here on the weekly, here we are. This is, this is that level here of overhead resistance that we expected it to get to and it got there. Now, question is, where do we go from here? Let's look at the monthly. And you can see that we're right back to these highs. That that was that target. Now, if we can bust through there, if we can clear it, and you, we really won't clear for another couple of points here, around 62 or so is the high. Um, we got a shot. We actually have a shot at going to 70 here and potentially even more. So once again, if we can clear this, we've got room to move here on the higher time frame. So there is the potential there really is the potential of a much bigger move for crude, uh, but it really all depends if it can completely clear the zone. And to really do that, we, we do need to see this above 62. So we'll keep an eye on that. Also of note today, Apple. Apple being one of the biggest losers today, down a little over 2.5%. This came after a report in the Taiwan Economic Daily newspaper saying that Apple's likely to cut its sales forecast for the iPhone X by 40%. Now, it hasn't been confirmed. Apple hasn't come out with any sort of statement. And uh, so we'll see. We, we could see a, a very quick bounce back um, by Apple uh, if this story turns out not to be true. But really, have a look at this. Apple's been in a range here really since early November. It's just been bouncing back and forth between that sort of 175, 176 level and, you know, 165, 166 here. So that $10 range back and forth, momentum's completely flat. The 20 moving average is completely flat, flat right now. There's really no indication which way this is going to break out. The beauty of it is we don't have to know ahead of time. We can just sit and wait and wait for a break one way or the other and then go from there okay so let's be patient with this there will be a play on apple very very soon shouldn't take very long at all uh you know if i was a betting man and i am um i would say uh the the path of least resistance is to the upside here we'll most likely see a break above but let's see what what happens with this story if it turns out to be true or not I'm sure uh, early in the new year, we will see a break one way or the other. That's about it for now. Enjoy the rest of your day and we will see you on our next update.